all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to build a web application for showing the shortest distance between two points if you want to know how to build this application please watch this video till the end all right so here is my basic leaflet setup so here i have set the title is routing app and then i have added the leaflet css and leaflet js link cdn uh, i am using the leaflet 1.8 version the latest stand and then here i have the with map uh, id map and then i set this uh the with 100% and height 100 years and my body has the margin and padding 0 means uh, I don't have any margin padding uh, in my web app leaflet class l dot map map and set view to the uh, some location near uh, and then I have set this zoom level 11 I loaded the OSM tile layer and then I added map so this is my basic setup so this is my uh, current app and here actually uh, I first of all I want to add a marker marker and then uh, I can add the marker simply by yarn dot marker and then I have to give the latitude and longitude latitude and longitude then add to map so i'm just simply adding uh, this marker in map so if you see it actually for this application i'm going to use the another plugin called leaflet routing machine which is here in the github so simply this is quite popular library for the on source routing let me open the documentation for this library it's here and uh, I can see the getting start guide and then maybe this I have to link this uh, CSS yes file. so let uh, it's the routing message CSS and then also the routing machine js file this file since i already added the leaflet so i don't need it uh, leaflet yes all right now we can use this plugin so to use this plugin i have followed this documentation let me let me uh, for quick demonstration how it works here if you add this line of code then it automatically add points maybe i need this uh, so it will add automatically two points and it will show you the uh, shortest path shortest distance between these two points and if you uh, you can even shift this marker here so it will automatically calculate okay this is the shortest route okay instead of doing this uh, manual work uh, i think i want to build another function uh, whenever i click on the map then i can set the second point on a map all right to build this function i am going to modify some code so let me comment out uh, this uh, below line of code first and uh, let me add the map on click event so to do this uh, actually let me write map click event and then map dot on and then uh, on click and then i need to run this function so function and then i can pass the parameter as e 
and then if I say console log it it will give me the coordinate of this clicked point so let me show you what I mean so let's say if I click on this point then you can see there is the lat long uh, object so inside which I got latitude and then the longitude so first of all I want to add this latitude longitude to the marker so it will be second marker so second marker will be l dot marker and then i can add the marker latitude and longitude which is e dot lat long dot lat is latitude and e dot lat long dot uh, l and g will be the longitude and then i need to add to map if you did so uh, so you can see it here uh, latitude and longitude is coming from lat long so if you save it and then if you run it uh, whenever you click you will get the marker so let me click here too so you will get the marker on the map so it's just adding the marker on the map on click event so now i am going to initialize my routing machine so let me uh, copy this and then paste it here and maybe uncomment this first and then my first point will be the same location uh, it's okay uh, for my uh, okay let me copy first and then the my second location will be from that click point that means e dot lat long dot lat and e dot lat long dot l and g all right now uh, so it's it's the waypoint between first point my first marker and then the second clicked marker so if i click it here so you can see the route between two points also you can get the navigation uh, between two points how to go turn left turn right something like that and then you you can also see the some small uh, circle moving around that those points all right so instead of showing this just the shortest path between two points uh, i want to add the animated marker which show the uh, which will move through this path all right to do so before adding it to the map i have to write a small bunch of code so here i am going to write on route found event so uh, it have to run another function uh, where the parameter will be the e and then uh, if i let's say console log here you will see all the information related to that route that means uh, it will provide you it will provide you the way so here uh, i have this console log here on uh, line number 53 uh, this is the second one so here if you toggle it on you will see the routes so inside routes uh, you have only one best route uh, it select and then inside which you will see the all the coordinates between this line so if you toggle the coordinates you will see all the latitude and longitude information along this road and also uh, there will be the address containing this uh, containing on this line so you will see all the addresses and all the uh, it will also calculate you the distance and the time time required to travel this distance so if you want to dive into detail you can use this all parameters but for me, I am just going to add the animated mar uh, marker along this line, along this route. So uh, I am just interested in the coordinates. So for that, actually, I am going to loop the for loop uh, for all the coordinates. So uh, first of all, I have to take the route and then uh, of course our route is the best route uh, that is zero that means the first route and then uh, after that i am going to select the coordinates uh, inside this route 
coordinates and then inside coordinates i am going to loop the for loop so i am going to loop the for each loop and then run this function which contain first parameter is coordinate and second is index now i am going to use the set timeout method so um, here uh, in the timeout actually what i want to do is uh, in every 100 millisecond into index uh, the current point i want to shift the marker uh, by change, change this latitude and longitude information that means marker dot set lat long uh, actually on the first marker i am going to set the latitude and longitude as coordinate dot lat and coordinate dot line that means um, in each coordinate it will go through each point and then set the marker so let's say if i want to travel from this point to uh, the uh, i think the uh, airport so if i click it here so i think some issue here uh yeah this is the i think some typo issue so let me fix it okay now i think it will work fine so let me click again the same point so if i click my marker will run through this point uh using this set timeout method so you can see this marker moving to the destination and it will stop on the destination route all right so it looks interesting now uh, instead of showing this marker i want to add the uh, actual actual image to add this image uh, actually i need one photo uh, maybe the taxi photo all right now i downloaded the taxi photo which is look like this taxi.png red taxi uh, i think car so i'm going to use the leaflet icon to add the uh, this icon to the map so my icon will be the variable uh, taxi icon and then it will be yal dot icon uh, i i think i see oyan uh, and then i have to provide two parameters first one is icon url which is the url to image which is img slash taxi dot png and then and the one is icon uh, size so for size actually i i am going to set it to 70 by 70 size okay so after that actually i have to add this taxi icon to my marker so here uh, i have to pass another object called icon and then i can pass taxi icon and just save it and then uh, after saving it uh, your marker will replace by the tax taxi uh, it's the car so now if you click on the let's say if i have to go to airport then my car will move through this path so in this way you can build this web app which is really interesting all right that's all about this video i hope you guys like it if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more update thank you for watching